Welcome back to the channel and welcome to our finale review of Moon Knight. It's season finale, not series finale, because, yeah, I guess they're doing a season two now. So, did this meet expectations? Yes. Uh, it didn't feel over bloated. I mean, if you watch the trailer, it did feel just a tad bit that they're going to go full on superhero battle and over the top stuff. And surprisingly, they did not. It was very much grounded. It never felt that it was doing more than it should. Uh, the characters felt the same that they were before. Nothing felt out of place. The battle itself, the, the choreography, the fighting on the ground, everything felt real. And overall... This did what it was supposed to do. It had a few nitbits here and there, uh, which I think they could have polished it out a bit more. But overall, it was almost a perfect finale. And that ending, oh my god, that ending. And remember, we're not going to spoilers, so do not worry. First of all, Oscar Isaac still was freaking awesome. All right. Now, there was a thing that was done towards the end of C, episode 5. And in episode 6, they kind of reverse it. Now, I just feel like they should have spent a bit more time the way things were at the end of episode 5. Just a bit more. Give it a few minutes. Because it just felt like that whatever happened at the end of episode 5, although it made sense what happens at the start of episode 6... It just like that emotional beat that you're supposed to feel that you do feel at the end of episode five, you kind of just all of a sudden, oh, like, okay, reversal. So just a bit more time with that particular situation, if they spent that time with it, just a bit more, it would have helped. It would not have taken away anything if it only added to the emotional stake. Also, Layla's character had a big time growth in this one. I mean, whoa. All right, I did not see that coming from anyway, the way that character is. But I like it. Uh, it worked within the story. But again, with that, I do feel like they should have spent just a bit more time with that character. There was a big, big jump in the character's arc. And... A few more things, a few more minutes could have helped. Because within the chaos, Layla was going through a change. And that character arc was kind of evolving into something new. So I do feel like, again, a few more minutes with that would have helped. The battle itself went great. It did not go out of the bounds of the show itself. It did not become something else. It stayed on course. I actually like this finale just as much as I loved WandaVision finale. And I think WandaVision finale was amazing. They did not try to do some multiverse or whatsoever. It stayed with the characters. It stayed with the story that they were telling throughout. And you felt like this was the end to the story that we've had so far in this season. So it didn't feel like out of place. The battle itself was not overbladed again. Was perfect. And then came the ending wow all right uh, you can tell initially they did not want to do uh, a season two but lately if you watch the finale trailer they mentioned season finale not series finale and what an ending it was that was kind of the ending that you know we hoped for and we wanted and the way it happened though was very unique because throughout the episode you're waiting for something like that and the way it all ends and it's starting to wrap up but then there's a surprise and it's a great surprise and the way it happened it works and it leaves you a lasting impression and it didn't feel like it just leaves you right in the middle of a cliffhanger even though it is a cliffhanger it does not feel like a cliffhanger. It feels like a conclusion, but at the same time, it is a cliffhanger and you know something's coming season two and you cannot wait for it. Now, with that also is my negative. For me, myself, and I, 
there is a negative to it because some of the things now that they've introduced towards the end of the episode, to me, they don't really gel with, with the stuff that have happened in, especially in four, five, and six. There were unique moments that happened and yeah, it just does not rhyme well to the hundred percent. So hopefully they come up with a good reason of why things happened the way it were in four and five and why this unique situation was never kind of mentioned. So hopefully they come up with a really good reason. It works, but at the same time, story-wise to me, it kind of also doesn't work. It was awesome, but it also kind of doesn't work. But overall though, this finale was amazing. Uh, it was not perfect in my opinion because of the things that I mentioned, but it was right up there. It was definitely better than Hawkeye. This show was better than Hawkeye. It was better than the finale of uh, Winter Soldier because I think Winter Soldier finale was not as good as I hope it would be. So this and WandaVision are MCU's like best shows. This was amazing. WandaVision amazing. This kind of dark stuff really, really works in terms of series. So what did you all think about this one? Leave a comment below. Or let me know. And yeah, other than that, I want to say thank you for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I'll see you all later. Until then, ta-da, a cow. Thank you.